the goals for me was to improve the third attack position, which we did, to uh, really improve the defense, which I think we did, and to try to have holes that can score in transition if we're going to run. I'm just excited to get started with our players and what we're trying to accomplish here in Chesapeake. Score and the Bayhawks are off and running. That is a new MLL record. Kyle Dixon from two, and that moves him past Roy Colsey for the most two point goals in MLL history. That felt great. I mean, Roy was a great player, and I was chasing him for a while. We had some battles uh, for my first three or four years, but I'm proud to break the record and uh, proud to represent the MLL in that category. Spin back, left hander shot to score. Jumper over the top, and he scored. The slam dunk from Ned Crotty, and he's got the hat trick. Spectacular goal. Comes out in front, fires, and scores. Behind the back, score. What a goal from Grant Jr. We're going to run, we're going to run double bubble. Disney. All right, whoever has the short jump pass, we're going to run Disney. John, he's coming down the screen for you. You're popping left. John, save. Launched out. Here's a last to Jeffers. In time. Shot. And with 158 left, the Bayhawks take the lead. This is a team that's been built to win right now, and to me, it's them and Boston as the main two contenders. Behind the back, he scores! Never to see it, now you know. McGreedy's over the top, he scores! Westerville turning the corner, scoops one, he scores! Brooks fires and scores! First place, Chesapeake Bayhawks. They're on top of the MLL standings. Chesapeake is five and one on the year. Behind the back, the shot of the score. Front the shot of the score. That's a two. A buzzer beating two by Danny Gladden. Kimmel scores with a scorcher. Boyle finds Buchanan. Oh! Turner hustles back to the crease. Sensational work in the nets. Chesapeake survives at the final wire. Winning it 14-13, and Kip Turner has a victory to savor. The Hounds are going to have their hands full because this Chesapeake team has won five games in a row. Gladden spins and shoots and hits the top corner. Miller's running over the top, and he slam dunks it in. Basket. Two pointer, and he got it. Not Danowski. Hounds in front. Back to the pass. Set up wide open to Kimmel. He scores it. This is what Dixon looking to do for the two-point shot that goes. The Bayhawks now have won six of their last seven, improving again to 8-2 on the season. And there is Kyle Dixon with a two-point bomb from out on top. It is a MLL record 12th two-point goal of the season. I think there's a lot of positive lessons that the Bayhawks will take out of this win. Number one is when they're clicking on offense, they're as good as any team in the league, if not the best. They're the class of the league. Side roll, shovel shot, score! Hot three back, he's close line by Kaiser. He's too dangerous for that. Three ball for two! A couple things that stand out for me all season long about Chesapeake, you know, shooting percentage, face-off vulnerability, and penalties. Those have been three areas that I think they need to clean up as the end of the playoffs. I think the challenge against Boston was Fourth consecutive road game for Chesapeake. It's a team that's a little worn out. Meanwhile, Boston was playing for their entire season. I still think they're the favorite to win the Steinfeld Cup. Grant Jr. still has, he scores! Oh, what a move by John Grant Jr. How did he get through traffic like that without losing the ball? All around, tremendous outing for Kip Turner and company. Chesapeake beats Long Island. Bayhawks in championship weekend, thinking about a title in 2012. He's got coming him. off that pipe. Feed. Feed. Oh. Who's got another one, Rubiar? Continues his huge game. Ben Rubiar has half a dozen. Can I hear a little penguin? Ah! Hunt over the top. He scores. He does not stop Rubiar. It's cold, 
but it feels good. It is Chesapeake that hoists the trophy for a fourth time in their franchise's history.